is how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Alright, that sounds good to me. Sucks that I missed on a day this week, what, what can you do, right? Um, so I'm back, I am congested, um, <clears throat> very much so. I'm actually on decongestants right now, for those who don't know, I was sick. Uh, yesterday, I actually started coming down with it midway through Tuesday. And Tuesday night, I played Minecraft with a very sore throat. Uh, pushed through it. Was able to do my, my Minecraft stream with said sore throat. Um, but then basically was not able to do too well uh, sleeping uh, Tuesday night because the sore throat was so bad. It was like on fire. Like, like, you know, sharp, excruciating pain all throughout the night. And I was unable to really get a, a legitimate sleep. And so... Um, you know, by the time I woke up Wednesday morning, I felt awful. I really did. I felt like I was hit by a Mack truck. My throat was terrible. And I said, there's no way I can stream. I can't talk. Fuck you. You're a liar. So I ended up <clears throat> going back to sleep. I actually slept for 12 straight hours. Well, I say that, but I was in bed for 12 straight hours. I definitely didn't sleep for 12 straight hours. And in fact, I had some pretty delirious uh, fever dreams. I had this weird dream. That my legs were all swollen up in weird bulbous patches and they were all painful and shit. Like, I had some really weird fucked up dreams while I was, you know, having a fever while I was asleep. Um, so I ended up getting up around 2 p.m. in the afternoon after sleeping a straight, like, 12 hours. Or trying to sleep, like, 12 hours. Um, I had a ramen. A beef-flavored ramen to try to help my throat. And, uh, you know, tried to do some basic stuff around the house. I took a shower, you know, napped a little bit more. Later on, ended up having a vegetable lasagna, and, uh, <clears throat> really just felt miserable. All day long, just really felt absolutely fucking miserable, okay? Um, so eventually, uh, you know, Kat actually had to go to work, and when she came home late at night, I was like, you know, I still kind of feel crappy. Uh, my, at that point, my nose had started to, to clog up, and I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna feel tomorrow. You know, we're gonna have to see how I feel tomorrow, um, you know, after a night's sleep. Well, the good news is, guys... My sore throat is completely gone. 100% gone. Really? <gasps> oh my god! Which is good. Because the bottom line is really there's only two things that could stop me from streaming. Number one is a sore throat. Um, and number two is a bad headache. Those are the two key things that would make me not able to stream. Um, and if you remember back around Christmas, I had both. First I had a sore throat, but then I had a splitting headache for like two straight days migraine. Uh, luckily I don't have a headache, which is great. This is more of a minor cold. Um, and quite frankly, uh, you know, if I hadn't had the bad sore throat, I would have streamed yesterday anyway. You know, the, right, now, right now I'm really congested. My nose is congested. It's running. It's gross. But I can tough through that and stream, you know. But if I can't talk because my throat is so throbbing in pain, you know, then I can't stream. So the good news is I am back today. It sucks that I, I lost a whole day. As you guys know, recently I've been telling you, financially things are not very good for me right now. Behind the scenes, things are really bad. And I am basically trying to raise as much as I possibly can right now on streams to help make up for that. Um, and it sucks that I lost a freaking day with a new release week, too, of all times, right? This couldn't have been last week when nothing new was going on. No, it had to be this week <clears throat> that I ended up getting sick. Um, it sucks ass, right? And, and just to forewarn all of you, um, you're just going to have to put up with my nose today. My nose is really bad. Uh, it's, like I said, it's running, it's congested. More than likely, I'm gonna have to blow my nose a lot today. Um, and there's not much I can do about it. <clears throat> okay. Um, you know, it is what it is. Now, I see some people being completely ridiculous in the stream chat, which I knew they would be. Because whenever I have a day off because I'm sick... The conspiracy theories start. So the first thing is, the idiotic morons of the internet, oh, this is all planned, you see? Phil wanted to take a day off... So this was all planned. And now now today, he says he's sick, but he's not. And he's specifically taking this day off. Some people, if you can believe this, guys, 
They went back a year. Last year, I took three days off from streaming because I took a staycation, meaning I spent three days here with Kat. And as I had revealed to you guys uh, on Saturday's podcast, snort. All right, and for those who are complaining about post-nasal drip, perhaps you should suffer it. Because they're like, why is he snorting? Because I have post-nasal drip, and if I don't, I'm going to choke. It's the only way to clear out my sinuses. If you have an issue with it, you should probably talk to God and ask why he gave me post-nasal drip, because I didn't ask for it. I woke up this morning incredibly uh, stuffed, congested in the head. I spent the greater part of the last hour and a half trying to clear out my sinuses. It's life. So either you deal with it, or shut the fuck up. Because I've been doing this... For over 10 years, and had this issue the entire fucking time, and if you have a problem with it, you probably maybe should have realized I had it sometime in the last decade. Um, basically, it didn't turn out the way I had planned. Like, we had all this stuff planned that we wanted to do, and I ended up, be she, or she ended up being sick, so it ended up being a pretty crappy three days off. Um, and people are actually, they went back a year on Twitter, and said, exactly one year ago, you went on a staycation. This is all planned. You, this is all completely planned, and this is what you were supposed to be, you know. Oh my god, people are stupid. Why am I toxic? More toxic, more toxic. Oh, Phil actually is a really toxic person, so we're just gonna keep saying, why am I toxic? Because it's a meme. <laughs> Seriously, these, these people are nuts. Like, they're just out of their minds. With what they say and do. Like... The bottom line is, I took a, a week off last month to visit my parents in Connecticut. I can't afford any more time off. I can't. Like, I'm behind on bills. I was overdrafted on my bank account for a week. Okay, where's the evidence? Present evidence of what you're saying. It's on you guys to believe me or not. And I know there's many people who won't, and there's many people who will. And that's okay. Um, then I got my Twitch payment, which then made up for all that overdrafting. And I'm realizing, damn, between, you know, what I'm what I'm making now... Uh, this month, for the rest of the month, it's not enough to even cover all my bills. Like, I hope I have enough to cover my mortgage here on this house. Because I'm screwed financially until I get back into the groove of things because of what happened last month with me being off a week. So, I can't afford to have time off. Yeah, I took a staycation. You people are fucking idiots. The baby wouldn't shut the fuck up. Yelling for seven fucking hours straight. Whining and complaining. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Seriously, they're just out of their minds. Um, they're just out of their fucking minds. You know, they're making these these crazy conspiracy theories. Yes, a secret staycation. Not that I'm sick, you know, and in excruciating pain. So they're all talking shit about that, you know, on, on the internet. They're all the all the circle jerking morons who make this shit up. Meanwhile, I feel like garbage, you know, trying to recover here. So I can get back as soon as possible. <clears throat> so. <clears throat> the bottom line is this. I'm back. I am ready to play. It just sucks because you guys are going to have to put up with my, my cold. You know, what can you do? I'm going to be blowing my nose and snorting and doing all kinds of gross stuff. And there's nothing we can do about it. Um, I have to, you know, I'm toughing through it to be back here today for you guys for a full day of streaming. Um, you're just going to have to put up with it, okay, guys? And I apologize in advance. Obviously, I don't want to be sick. Oh, man, the days of milk and honey are over. But that's life, you know, it happens, and I'm getting over it. You know, I'm toughing through it today. I easily could have taken more days off and just screwed myself over further, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to tough through it to be here for you guys and do a full day of fun streaming, okay? All right. And also, oh, the other fun thing, didn't you know there's a streamer who streamed for 2,000 straight days and never took a day off despite two of his children being born? He was still streaming. I'm like, I'm looking at this, and I'm like, number one, you know, Good, good on that guy for apparently having the best immune system I've ever heard in my life. Because if he could stream with a throbbing sore throat, good on him. I can't. If I can't talk, I can't stream. You know, like, I know you guys wouldn't appreciate a stream where I'm basically being silent. So that's why I don't do it. Um, but number two, uh, I certainly don't know anything about, a, you know, imagine if you're having your kid born and you're on fucking stream. Uh, you know, that's kind of weird to me. Someone who literally cannot separate work from personal life and is 2,000 straight days with no break, that's, that's insane. 
Some people may respect that. I think that's fucking weird. That's just my personal opinion. You could disagree, but that just messed up to me. Like, to not have a personal life at all for 2,000 straight days does not sound healthy. I'm just saying, that's my opinion on that. You could completely disagree. That's okay. If you think that's admirable, go right ahead and say it's admirable. For me, that's like, uh... I don't think that's something to be applauded. I think that's something to be analyzed. Say, what the fuck happened here? <laughs> because, personally, no days off for 2,000 days doesn't sound very healthy to me. I'm just saying. For, especially for my own, my own personal health, I can tell you if I stream for 2,000 straight days, I'd probably be dead. i probably have blood clots in my body. I'd be dead. All right? I make a living because I actually work my ass off to make a living and, and you know, make money and pay bills. Sissy girl. You are like sissy girl. Ho, 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 ho. He say you look like sissy girl. Now tomorrow, guys, is Friday. Now here's the other ridiculous thing people are saying. Oh, well you were off yesterday sick, why don't you just stream on Friday? That's not how life works. Um, people who actually have a full life, and again, that's how I don't understand how you can have a 2,000 day fucking streaming streak. I only have one day a week where I take time to do the things I need to do, the essentials. So things like get supplies for the house, go to the doctor, get a haircut, you know, things that you need to do during normal daytime hours because you can't do them in the middle of the fucking night or whatever, um, I need to do those. And it just so happens that this week, on tomorrow, I've got all those things lined up. A doctor's appointment? Uh, a haircut appointment. I need to get all the ingredients to make a new pot of my homemade Italian sauce. So I've got all this stuff lined up for tomorrow. There's no way that I could just cancel that now. I actually needed a haircut for the past month and haven't been able to go because... Uh, my hairdresser is off on Thursdays, and my days off have been Thursdays, so finally this week I arranged it for me a Friday instead. Um, <clears throat> you know. So, that's, that's how life works. When you're an adult, you gotta try to schedule everything on the day off that you get. It's not really a fun day off, instead it's a day full of, of basically chores and tasks that need to be done. Um, <clears throat> so that being said, um, tomorrow I need to take the day off. And, quite frankly, it's going to be a day of activity, but I think it's going to be good for me. You know, I'm cooped up in the house all week, so actually going out and moving around, maybe it'll actually make my body feel better. Hell, it may even help me to get past the sickness quicker to actually go out and get some physical activity in my body instead of just sitting around all day. Okay? Um, so, I cannot, uh, take tomorrow off. Or, excuse me, uh, I cannot be here tomorrow and cancel my whole day off. Um, simply because that's life. That's how it goes. All right? Um, so, no, I'm not gonna be here tomorrow. It was already my scheduled day off. It has to be my scheduled day off. Okay? So, hopefully things go well. I get everything done that I need to get done tomorrow. And I don't end up overexerting myself to the point where I get sicker. I hope not. Alright. There was a game called A Plague Tale that also came out, uh, this week. And I know that some people want me to play it. But right now, I'm strapped for cash, and especially now that I lost out on a day of streaming, I cannot afford it. So if someone wants to donate that game to me... Oh! Oh! And, uh, where are we headed? That is disgusting. Disgusting beggar. And say, here, give it a try. I would. But well, there's no way I could drop $40 on that game right now. I just can't. I'm being honest with all of you. Um, all the money that I raise on streams is going straight to bills at this point. So, now sadly I wasn't here yesterday. Of course that means we lost subs. What can you do? When you're sick, you lose subs. It's just a natural thing. It's going to happen. We're down to 469 subs. That doesn't mean we can't hit the sub goal for the month. We're still incredibly close. But we need some people to subscribe. I see many of you who had subs who did not renew. What's the deal with that? You guys realize I just added the new frog emote that you've all been asking for. Okay, this is a brand new emote that was just added this week uh, before I got sick. <clears throat> you also get access to over 30 other emotes. You don't have to watch advertisements when I run them. And you get a cool chat crown badge to show how long you've been a supporter of the stream. So please consider subscribing. Please tip me. Tipping me right now allows me to use those funds to pay bills immediately. And I can tell you right now, guys... I told you, like, I don't even, with the money I just made from Twitch, and I know there's going to be a payment coming in from YouTube, and you know, all that, it's not going to be enough to even pay all my basic bills coming up in early May, or excuse me, early June. This sucks, because it's a situation where, you know, in April, I took a week off to spend time with my parents, I knew there was going to be a financial hit, I'm trying to come back from it, it's going to take a month or two for me to get back to the levels where everything's fine, alright? And I knew this was going to happen, but it is what it is, it was more important for me to visit my parents. So, please consider tipping me, if you at all you can. Someone named Free Cause tipped me five dollars and said, "I had a dream last night that you had unbanned Cause and Hindo. They apologized, and the trolls were debunked by facts and logic. I think it was God's way of telling me 
to sell you the free cars. It's too bad that you dreamed it, because that's all it's ever going to be, a dream. He's not getting unbanned. Hindo's not getting unbanned. These people are never getting fucking unbanned ever again, because they've always been a negative influence on the chat. They constantly try to derail the chat. They constantly do snide, underhanded, sarcastic remarks. They advertise other streamers. They do things that are against the rules regularly. And the bottom line is the only reason that they were ever let back in here is because we had a few mods who sadly were buddy-buddy with them and kept campaigning to get them back in there. Well, guess what? Those mods aren't fucking mods anymore. So these people are gone for good. Good riddance to bad fucking rubbish. Now we can just have a fun stream together and not worry about their stupid shit anymore. So there you go. All you're getting is salt, 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 salt. It's oh, even now again, my mouth overpowered with salt flavor. Take oh, hold on a second. Venom eighty seven. Just give me a twenty dollar tip. Says you'll get past this financial burden, man. Keep your head up, Phil. <laughs> Thanks for the money, stupid fuck. You are my bitch. Thank you for the free money, dummy. And you can lick my balls. All right. Wow. Um, we got some significant contributions here, guys. Logan Paul, the Wolverine, tipped me $100. Go fuck yourself and thank you for the tip. <laughs> and says, hello, Phil. I absolutely enjoy your content. This is my tip to you because you need it. You were ill and for the possibility to play P Plague of Innocence, which is, isn't it a plague tale? Um, innocence? I think that's what it's called, right? Is it hard to operate a job where it's dependent on constant funds? Yes. Like, as I've told you guys, um, you know, this being a job this is my job. I have to be here every possible day that I can. And that's why it's funny because people are like, oh, Phil, why don't you just take time off to relax or rest up? Like, every day I, I'm not here is a day I don't make money. And that's the problem is, like, I need funds to pay bills and, and to buy games, you know. It's not like I have the, the, the freedom or that luxury to just say, oh, today's just I'm making so much money hand over fist that today I can just take it off. I can't. I don't even have that luxury. You know, the one day off a week that I take to spend time with Cat and do errands costs me. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, there was a time back in the day. When I made so much money on YouTube, we're talking probably the years of 2011 through, say, 2014, 2015. I was making so much money on YouTube through ad revenue before the ad revenue fell out on YouTube that, yes, I could afford to take days off. I could afford to go to a convention or go to a special event, a tournament, and record there, you know, go on trips or whatever. I can't do that anymore. I can't. I have no freedom to do that because financially I'm so bogged down and I need to be here every possible day that I can. Um, it sucks, but that's just reality. It's tough. It's tough because yesterday I was sick as a dog. And I was debating, do I stream or not? But I couldn't even talk. I was like, how am I going to do this if I can't talk? Right? You guys need to hear me talk to do a, a valid gameplay stream. <laughs> so, you know, it's tough. It is absolutely tough. But it is what it is, you know. Um, Hank also tipped me $40. Okay. All Keep in mind that most of these people are high school level anyway. Like, they're, that's, the, that's how old they are. That's the intelligence level they fucking hold in their heads forever because they're just infantile. <laughs> people are seriously stupid. What the fuck? People are so stupid. God, man, people are so ignorant sometimes. It's just messed up. Yeah. It, it, what it is is a lack of responsibility. If the guy had a fucking actual... He's a guy's a meathead, right? You know, if he had a fucking piece of intelligence in his head, he would know not to do that because it's going to hurt people in the long run, but whatever. Oh, thank you, Hank. He says, hope this helps out a bit. Good luck recovering from your cold. Enjoying Rage 2 a lot. Take your time playing it. By the way, we're super blind, man. I haven't seen him for some time. Oh, he's been by. He was actually here the other day. He was here the other day. Um, and I know that he's been streaming and stuff. Um, sadly, some personal stuff, bad stuff has happened to him. I believe his cat passed away recently, uh, which really sucks. So he's been a little bit down because of that. But outside of that, he's been around. Um, in fact, this morning, I believe his, uh, fiancé was streaming, and I was hosting her. So, there you go. Thanks so much, guys, for your support this morning. Seriously, thank you very much. This helps make up for losing the day yesterday. It absolutely does. Oh my god, I can't believe it. It actually worked. I w it worked out for me! <laughs> I'm an evil bastard. But we got a whole day of streaming ahead of us. I just hope my nose holds out. Like I said, I am very congested. It's dripping. It's bleh. Yuck. At least I could talk, though. Thank God. Burn in hell, Burnell. And now I'm going to burn in hell for the rest of eternity because of it. You can't change who you are, I guess. What pasta do you prefer? I prefer a penne. Oh! Easy to eat. 
Oh! Phil's a faggot. Phil's fat. Phil's a loser. Phil's a beggar. Phil's a racist. Phil's a scammer. DSP is a pedophile. DSP is a thief. DSP is a greedy fuck. This guy's a bitch. I have a micro penis. <laughs> Alright, I'm not dead, but I swear to God, I wish I fucking was.